All right, guys, welcome to episode number nine of Duo Night. Today, we're diving straight in into Dark Crisis. Guys, thank you so much for all your love and support on the show. We have such a great time here on Duo Night. Before we dive into this episode, I just wanna give a huge shout out to all our Patreon members, our Diamond Duelists, our Platinum Duelists, and of course, our Gold Duelists on Patreon. So if you guys wanna help the show and be part of the action, draft building process, deck building process, see behind the scene footage, and of course, the ultimate losers match for every single episode episode, please help support the show by checking out our Patreon in the link description box below at patreon.com slash Team Samurai X1. Right now, we have such a great community on there. We're trying to grow day by day, and because of your generous contribution, you guys are keeping the show afloat. All right, guys, enough talking. Without further ado, let's get started with Duel Night Episode 9, Dark Crisis. All right, guys, let's begin. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals, battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. All right, guys, episode nine of Duel Night. We're back here with Dark Crisis. And you guys already know, we cannot start a Duel Night episode without showcasing you guys the history of the set that we're diving into today. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get started with a brief history on Dark Crisis and on what this set is all about. Dark Crisis is the ninth worldwide TCG booster pack and was released back on December 1st, 2003. This set debuted the brand new Guardian and Archfiend archetype. Highly sought after cards in this set include Tsukiyomi, a spirit monster with the ability to flip monsters face down, Reflect Bounder, a monster with similar abilities to the Magic Cylinder, Vampire Lord, a powerful zombie monster that can be easily brought out with Pyramid Turtle, Skill Drain, a continuous trap card which negates all monster effects on the field, and last but not least, two of the greatest removal cards during this era, Sakuretsu Armor and DD Warrior Lady. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it on the history of Dark Crisis. Without further ado, let's bring on this week's players. Guys, I'm super excited to be here. Duel Night Episode 9, I'm here, finally! Woo! For those who don't know me, guys, my name is Soom. I'm Sam's little brother, and this is a long anticipated wait for me. I have been waiting for my call. It's time to be like, yo, Soom, I need you on Duel Night. It's time. And now, guys, today is the day. For those who watch Sam's videos, you guys know I've been a part of many of Sam's videos on Team Sam X1. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I love being here. And you know what, guys, today, I actually wanna come here, duel, and actually show you guys that I'm not just a guy opening packs. I can duel, okay? I can be with the best of them. I can win and compete with the best of them, all right? And you know what? Sam, Steven, Milano, I've watched these guys on the previous duel nights. And guys, I'm telling you, piece of cake. Duel night! Welcome back to another episode. We are back at it with episode nine already. We got whatever, what's it called? Dark Crisis. Dark Crisis? And my opponents are gonna be in some next crisis when I build my crazy attacks and destroy everyone. Let's go. I'm excited. 
Another day, another duel night. What's good, everybody? It is your boy Milano, and I'm actually looking to win it today. I'm seriously determined to win the entire thing this time around, and I'm not gonna let Sam win it, I'm not gonna let Steven win it, and even Zoom, our new guest, is not gonna have a, a chance because I'm I'm dedicated today. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. I've been killing it on Patreon though. So if you guys check that out, you would see how destructive my decks always turn out to be there. And if you guys seen the way I would slap up everybody in the Patreon duels uncensored, and we're all watching each other's duels, we're all just having a great time, and that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is all about. Make sure you check out the Patreon. It's super sick behind the scenes, guys. Guys, it's so great to be back here on Duel Night. Oh my goodness, guys, you guys already saw last week. Week. Your boy won with Magical Scientist FTK. I sent Steven to the Shadow Realm, and my game plan this week is trying to go back to back, okay? I right now have two wins, Steven has two wins, and Jesse Button has two wins as well. Milano Denzel. Lol. <laughs> Dark Crisis, I'm super excited for the set. My brother is here. Soom. The only thing Soom knows how to do is summon Stratos, search Neo's alias, pass. That's all Soom knows how to do, all right? Okay. But Soom. he's been asking me to be on Duel Night, and you guys love my brother so much, so today we got Soom. You know what, to be honest, I wanna see what Soom drafts for this episode. I'm actually very excited. All right, guys, here we have it. Since I won last episode, we get a spin from the wheel. Honestly, it doesn't matter what I get, I'll be happy with monsters, spells, or traps. Here we go. Come on, wheel spin! Monsters! Ooh, 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 ooh. I love the waifus in this set. I love DD Warrior Lady. DD Warrior Lady, you're my bae. Please come to me. I love you. All right, guys, episode number nine. Yes, sir. Guys, today we got Zoom. Zoom, are you excited? I'm super excited, guys. Super excited. This is my first time on Duel Night, and I'm here to win. All right? Yo, so everybody's been asking for you. Everybody's been asking for you in the comments, and we finally got you here for Dark Crisis. Do you know what's in this set? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what's in the set. What's in the set? Sue's first victory. Yeah! Yeah! Just never give up and you can do this, all right? Ooh. Yeah! I like that! I like that! I like that! I like that. Guys, let's go. Oh, so. Oh, so. Oh, so. Oh, so. Oh, Are you nervous or something? Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's sorry, nervous. Sorry, sorry. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm jittering, bro. I'm jittering. I'm jittering. I'm jittering. I'm jittering. I'm jittering. Hand, too. No, Yo, which card, man? I'm jittering right now. Guys, I have an idea that I'm, I want to make, but I don't know what you guys are doing, so. All right. I believe in you, bro. I think he'll create a great deck. Me as well. I totally. Yeah, believe that. Definitely better than Sam's deck. Wow, whoa, 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 everybody's attacking me this episode, huh? Who won last week? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Of course, me. You're looking at the champion last week. This is a random part in the episode that just came out today. What Steven's like, yo, stalling is okay. Like, as everyone's talking, he just said that in the back. He's like, come on, guys. Yeah, there's like five, five comments <laughs> down below that time stamped it. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, it was just so random. I mean, you know that like, he pretty much got banned for a year because he claimed that he was stalling in a deck profile. <laughs> <laughs> in the night, I hear the story ever told. I'm not found alone, it's only lost a soul. And it was so hard, they said. There's no XC summons. XC summons. No, there's no. Soon. How are you feeling? Guys, I am so happy with my deck. I came in here without a strategy, but when I saw the draft cards, I'm like, I know my strategy. Oh, it all clicked. It all yeah. just clicked, and you know what? I built it. I'm surprised you guys didn't build the deck that I want, that I built. So, guys, I'm gonna show you guys my deck, and you guys know. You guys, you guys will know. Jeez, How are you, Sam? How are you, Sam? I'm very confident in my strategy today. I'm looking forward to winning again and getting my third ring, baby. I'm losing. Nah. He's not gonna win. He's because I'm gonna win this time, boys. I, I, I constructed such a genius, genius strategy over here. These guys are gonna be in in shambles. In shambles? <laughs> Yo, stop that, bro. Stop that. Steve, you're quiet over there, Steve. 
Yo, Steven, how's your neck, man? Yo, fellow two-time champion, how's yours? Oh, it's great, man. It's so great. Both ones are yes, I'm looking to face your fights. So, uh, <laughs> in the finals, so like nine actually. weeks, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, guys, let's find out who we're facing. So under here right now, it is two effect dealers and two ash feet blossom. Let's go ash. Oh, it's ash the the ash with the feet. Yes, you yeah. like that. It's, it's like my binder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you pick one. Who matches face each other? One, two, three. That's mine, baby. Ready? All right, three. Two, 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 two one. Easier matchup. <laughs> oh, 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 no, this is what I want. This is what I want. It's time to do. Oh my god, guys. I just found out that my first round matchup is against Sam, my older brother. Guys. I couldn't have asked for a better matchup. Remember, I've never dueled Steven, I've never dueled Milano, but I dueled Sam growing up. I know how he thinks. He's not the best duelist out there, you know? So I know how to beat him. I don't know what he built, but honestly, I wanted to play Sam. I'm like, Sam, let me beat you in the first round and then beat your friends in the finals. That was my strategy. Effect Veiler, I drafted you and you gave me Sam. Yes! You guys already know who's gonna win. Little brother or big brother? <laughs> big bear or small bear? So, <laughs> good luck, okay? This is the match I've wanted. Time to send you home. Time to send you home to mom's wonderful cooking. All right, Sue, so here we go. First victim of the day, Milano. Nothing new. We do got a little bit of a rivalry going on. Rivalry with heavy quotations. 10 wins for me, maybe two for him. But we'll see how this one's gonna go because it's gonna be 11 to two. Let's go. Steven, exactly who I wanted to play. Whenever I play my rogue decks, he tries to clown on me for playing something a little simpler. Well, this time I'm playing something a little more powerful, so be sure to watch out for that, Steven. Steven's been talking a little bit of smack. He's been feeling a little nice just for a few victories, but this time, I got it. I'm taking it home. All right, guys, so we just finished drafting, and I'm gonna be honest, I had so much fun. That was probably my first ever draft, like, ever. And you know what? It was so fun. I was going through the cards, and then I was like, what deck should I make? I don't know this set. But guys, when I saw Spy, I was like, ding! I'm making Grave Keepers today. All right guys, here's my deck list. So my strategy is basically simple, guys. Necro Valley Control, Grave Keeper Spy, summon all the Grave Keepers and just attack with Assailant and all those big beaters. And of course, like as I was going through the draft, I saw cards like Vampire Lord, you know, Book of Life, where if they have to banish cards or just, you know, use their graveyard, that Necro Valley stops that. Necro Valley stops cards from getting removed and of course stops the graveyard control. So that's why I wanted to go Necro Valley. And of course, I was very comfortable with it. I grew up with Necro Valley. I grew up with Grave Keeper Spy in that set, in that, you know, era. So that's why I wanted to just get Necro Valleys out as soon as possible, and then stop those cards from being active in the graveyard and getting banished. So the reason why I really like Grave Keepers is because they're like a mid-tier deck where, you know, they're not bad, but they're not amazing, but they're not bad. Where, you know, it's all about consistency, you know, I have floodgates of Necro Valley, where I might have to, you know, play some defense here and there, and then some offense. So a little balance of both. And you know what? I'm comfortable like that. I'm comfortable, you know, in the middle, where I'm not too slow, but I'm not too fast, or else, I'll just go crazy. So Grave Keepers was perfect, and I'm super happy that on the first time on Duel Night, it's a deck that I'm comfortable with and I grew up with. And you know what? I'm glad that I was able to build this deck, and hopefully no one built it too. Besides my Grave Keepers monsters, I got some crazy, crazy staples. I got Mirror Force, I got Magic Cylinder, Sakurat Zoo Armor, Trap Hole, cards that I know can just be a great all-around aspect. So those cards were in the deck. Even cards like Change of Heart, MSTs. I went for the MSTs too, to destroy any spells and traps, of course, if those traps are bothering me. And of course, drafting MST, you know, just to stop cards from stopping my Necro Valley. That's why MSTs were a must in my draft. I had to get the MSTs. All right, guys, so that's basically it for my strategy. Hopefully, you guys like like it, I love it, and now, time to go win Duel Night. All right guys, so I just finished the draft. I think I have the best deck in the room, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for what I'm about to do today. Here's my deck list. Yeah, I am playing Burn. I'm sorry, you know what? My goal for this week is to show you guys that Distant Coder, last episode's contestant, cannot do what I'm doing. I'm gonna prove to you guys that I'm gonna make Coder's deck from last episode, but 10 times better. This is my burn strategy. I think my deck is the best deck in the room. We got wave motion cannon, and to stall, which is what Steven is good at, we got gravity binds, messenger of peace, and a lot of crazy burn cards like Death Koala, 
Princess of the Surgery. The best card in my deck definitely has some Cyber Jar. For any trap control based deck, Cyber Jar and Fiber Jar becomes lethal. So I went for those cards first, alongside with Ring of Destruction. I always draft Pot of Greed first, but unfortunately someone took the Pot of Greed immediately. So I saw the ring and I just needed to draft Ring of Destruction as soon as possible because that card can literally game your opponent. So Ring of Destruction is absolutely insane. So my deck is just burned. I got Nightmare Wheel 2. You guys see, I have Lava Golem on my deck. I can give Lava Golem to my opponent and then use Mask of the Accursed or Nightmare Wheel to make sure that Lava Golem can attack. And then every turn, my opponent would just lose 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 damage with Nightmare Wheel and also Mask of the Accursed alongside Lava Golem. So my deck is insane. A lot of stall cards. For this episode, guys, I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the bind. Let's go, baby. We just finished drafting, and this is my deck list. I think that I built the best deck I have so far. This deck is comprised of multiple engines that just simply equates to zombie control. I'm controlling the pace of the game with my all my floating monsters and getting some powerful effects off of them. So off of my Imprentice Illusion Magician, I get either Magician of Faith or get an old Vindictive Magician, giving me some utility. With my zombie engine, I try to get out the Vampire Lord, who's a powerful 2000 beater, who is when destroyed by a card effect, can return on my next standby phase. All these floating monsters gives me access to my utilities, and I play lots of powerful staples like Raigeki Break, Mythical Space Typhoon, and lots of other ones just to control the speed of the game and have things go my way. Another card I decided to play was the Book of Life which essentially lets me Monster Reborn, my Vampire Lord or Pyramid Turtle, and then banish a card from my opponent's graveyard. So when my Vampire Lord is destroyed by a card effect, he comes back. But if he's destroyed by battle, I can't get him back. But that's where Book of Life comes in, to let me Monster Reborn, my Vampire Lord or Pyramid Turtle if I so want to, and then I can banish a card from my opponent's graveyard, giving me that extra utility from a Monster Reborn. All right guys, so that was my deck list, and today I'm gonna take it home. Let's get it. Another draft, another best deck. What can I say? Yo, what's that, what's that thing that Yugi has and Pegasus is the eye thing? Millennium Ring? Millennium Ring, yeah. I got the Millennium Beard and the Millennium Ring. And today, I'm gonna get three Millennium Rings and I'm gonna still keep the beard. The same thing that Sam has yet to hit puberty and be able to grow. This is my deck list. Now, before you say anything about why I build the same thing every day, Tom Brady has come to work 25 years in the NFL. Does Bill Belichick change the system? Does Bruce Arians change the system in Tampa Bay? No, because I'm Tom Brady. And today, I'm not Tom, I don't got seven, but I'm gonna, about to get three. Let's go. Strategy number one, it's not big beaters, it's skill drain. When you combine skill drain with goblin attack force, it's over for my opponents. Now, sadly, someone, oh, Milano, drafted my Exiled Force away from me, so I can't get this, and they're too scared of how powerful my deck is. Even my Sasuke Samurai, shout out to the Leaf Clan, all right? But it's gone from me, but it's all good, because Rhoda's gonna search Goblin Attack Force, I'm gonna flip up Skill Drain, I'm gonna combine it with all my Ordeal of a Travelers, and I'm gonna travel all the way to the finals. Let's go. Last strategy of my deck. Stall. Stall. You got Ordeal of a Traveler, but not just that. We got Fairy Box. Ordeal of a Traveler is going to stall my way to victory. And guess what? My opponents, they're not going to get no email. They're not going to get no message from Doug Zeep. All they're going to do is they're end up in a box. Fairy Box. By stalling some more. Let's go. Steven. We meet again. Again, as as always, but bro, good luck. I'm here to bring my A game today. You know, I'm not messing around. Me I came either. with a real strategy today, a real winning strategy. So I'm glad you have your winning strategy, because I have mine. All and right. I call it business trip. <laughs> and I'm here to win. So best of luck. Let's do it. All right. High roll. Let's do it. Alright guys. <laughs> I will go first. Sounds good. Good luck. Okay. Alright guys, you have 40 minutes, you may begin. 40 minutes? Alright, say no more, I'm gonna... Woo, my hand is the stones, draw for turn. My hand is We're the still drawing for turn, right? Yes. Okay. And still priority? Yes. Draw. Stand by face? Yes. Trap does shoot, let me see those oh, cards. Oh, oh. Let me see, let me see. That's a good one. 
I, I, this is supposed to be my strategy. I only have one monster in my hand. Unfortunately, this trap dust shoot is gonna get me big time. I see Steven's hand. Man, how the tables have turned. Let's see, yeah, okay, put away the, the Prince's Magician Fairy Box, Reborn, Robin, Giant Fairy Box. Fairy, double Fairy Box, Reborn, Giant Trunade, and Robin. So double Fairy Box, Trunade, Monster Reborn, Robin. Yep, got it. So double Robin, uh, Reborn Rest. thing. Sure. All right. So double Robin, or double Fairy Box, Robin. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'll flip summon Pyramid Turtle. Yep. And I'll normal summon Giant Rat. Yep. Sorry. Enter the battle phase. Yep. Attack for 1200. I'll use Fairy Box. Sure. So we're gonna. Yo, can I use two of these? And then it would go twice. So it's like two no flips? Clue. I have no clue. Uh, let, me, yeah, let me call Coder. Okay. Sonic Sonic. Judge! Yeah. Judge, we have a, we, we have a ruling question. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hi, so we're filming Duel Knights right now, and I, my opponent has two monsters in the field. So he declares an attack with Giant Rat, and I'm wondering, can I use two Fairy Boxes, or can I only use one? Uh, after the straight, after the fairy box. Okay, uh, that way, like, if he could flip, uh, if he has to flip twice, type of question. Probably do. I feel. Attacking monster. Uh, yeah, they both, you can activate both, they both go on the same chain. So you basically flip one and flip the other. So what if one is heads and one, one is tails? So still zero, I would well, assume. As long as you call one of them right, then the attack, the attack becomes zero. Oh, sick. <laughs> and I have to declare both, like, I have to activate both right away. I can't wait for one of them to be tails? No, both, both will go on the same chain. Okay, all right. Thank you, Judge. Oh man, that's annoying, <laughs> man. That's annoying. Thank you very much. Thank Have a good day. Au, good au revoir. Have fun. <laughs> Darn, man. That's annoying. <laughs> All right, wait. I thought I attacked with Pyramid Turtle first. Whichever one. Yeah, yeah okay. Pyramid it. Turtle attack. Are you going to activate uh, another Pyramid Turtle? Thinking now. Uh, can we get the Neuron app in order to roll some? Yeah, I'm going to use both. All right. Double Fairy Box. Man, Steven loves to stall too much, man. Time for some quick math. When you have got one fairy box, the chances of my opponent attacking my monster is already 50% less, right? But then when you add another fairy box, it's 50% and 50% on top but of that. On top of that, what he that's has another 50%. Monster, so that's 150% cool because of fairy box. Let's go. Here, here, I'll use my phone. If okay, so I'll call heads for everything. Thank you. Just call heads for the rest of the game, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, First one. Tails. Let's Second go. one. Tails. Okay, so this one misses. What do you mean? I thought you were calling heads. Don't you have to call it right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. So My bad. Yeah, I got that mixed up. You take 12. And then other 14? Yeah. You're calling heads? Yeah. Tails. Oh, am I nice? Oh, okay. I'm going to that down All right. Your move, Duelist. Draw. You paying for fairy box? Uh. I'll pay for I'll pay for both. All right. Activate pot of greed. Hello, sir. What do you do? I draw two cards for you, master. Then draw two cards. Let's go. That's fine. To answer your earlier question, judge, I dropped a pot of greed. On the resolution. I like me trap dust shoot. <laughs> Let me see, boy. I got two. Ooh, another. You failed me. You failed me! You gave me four cards in my hand for this card to be used again! Have the pot agreed, Steven. Trap dust shoe, let me see what you got again, boy. Oh, I lucked out, I lucked out very hard. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of... So that is Robin Goblin set. I will take your skilled Dark Magician. Sounds good. Skill Dark Magician, True Nade Reborn, Robin, two fairy boxes. Yep. Normal summon, put the Goblin Attack Force. That's fine. Enter Battle Phase. Sure. I'll attack Giant Rat. 
Um, think. Response? No response. Good follow. To negate your Robin Goblin. All right, so the attack will go through. Who did you attack again? Uh, Giant Rat. All right, so I take 900. 900. I'll use the effective giant rat. Yep. Let me special summon one earth monster from my deck. Yep. Which will be his brother, his cousin is a white man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So reborn and true need. Yes, yes. sir. And I will pass. All right, draw. And so the rule is this can't, uh, this can't turn can't. until next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll tribute the rat for a Parsha. Uh oh, battle phase. Yeah. Attack. All, All right, Fairy Box, you need to hit this for me, man. You need to do this for me, I just want to kill box. your guy, but this guy was just. Tails, one more, baby. Let's go! I thought my math was perfect. I thought it was supposed to be 150% chance of him not attacking. But evidently, it's 100% of me losing so far. This is not what I wanted, Fairy Box. Do better math. Should be some Parsha. Time to pierce. Huge. Oh this, that's what happens when you put luck on your side, These man. Boxes and I'll use the effect of Parshat to let me draw one. Yeah. 1200? Yeah. Let's go. God, I hate this. Fairy box. Tails. Wow, oh I'm insane. God. I'm insane. I'm insane. Man, Steven, today is just not your day. Try stalling next time. I'm insane. You're kidding me. 27 to my 31. And then I will pass the turn to you. Go ahead. I'll take a thousand. We like to see it, boys. We love to see it. We love it. We love it. Oh, he wants to reborn? Sure. I'll kill this. Very All right, day that I 400. Think. 400. All right, is my move? One sec. Draw. Draw. Hmm. Set one, true need, reborn, new card. Okay, what is the best play here? Normal summon exile. Enter battle phase. The warrior that took down his brethren, exiled force. Welcome to my side. This is supposed to be my card. Milena took this card for me. I have a sword. He doesn't. This is my card. But now it's gonna hurt me. Yep. Attack? Yep. Fairy box? Yep. For two. Let's go. Guess that one doesn't matter. Fall. Let's go. Right. Main phase two. Go ahead. Would you like to pay for your box? I'll let, you them, just... I'll let, I'll let them both survive. So I'll be at 700. All right. Intelligent. You are quite intelligent, sir. Very draw. Yeah. Battle phase. Twelve hundred. All right, fairy boxes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> fairy boxes. Come on! Like a very risky heads! Game. Tails! Tails! Heads! Tails never fails, let's go. Tails, one, one. sec, all right, one sec, all right. You can rent this one. Let's go, Tails never fails, baby. Heads! Yeah! Let's go! Not today! All right, I'll save oh. one, and I'll pass. What is the status of your fairy boxes? I will send one of them. All right, so you're 200 to my 27. Yes, and I'll pass. Draw. No way, you're just gonna depend on the fairy box once again. Enter battle phase. 12. <laughs> Is it gonna go on the fairy box? You know, if you have mirror force or something, you gotta choose that or this. Sakuratsu, all right. I'll Maybe. fall my turn, it'll go. Yes, that's right. I set one, and then I'll pass. Normal summon. Zombria. All right, that's fine. Attack. Old vindictive magician. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> nice. How fast? Draw. Normal summon magician of faith. 
Enter the battle. <laughs> Wait. What? Ordeal of a traveler. Chain right, Geki break. No! Oh, Let's man. go! Wow. Fire, baby. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I feel like that does shoot, like does shoot is one of those cards with oh, such that's... a high roll. Like if I draw going first, it's so good. If I don't, then it's like putting yeah. you in a terrible position, right? Yeah, the dust shoots, it's but it worked there. Wow, man. I, I lost! I no! was very close, though. Yo, good game, bro. GG's. I don't know how to act, guys. I don't usually lose. Yo, Milano, what do you do when you normally use it? You do this a lot? No, I, I lose in the ultimate with losers duel after. Oh. Well, at least, oh, no, I beat Denzel in it, so at least I get some soft gratification. <laughs> yes, finally I get to beat Steven, man. That was long awaited, and now I'm gonna either play Sam or assume in the finals. Kinda want Assume to win, cause Sam sucks. So the match everybody wants to see. Guys, brothers versus brothers. The sooner the better. Guys, I, as I said earlier, I couldn't ask for an easier matchup. I've been beating him at home, and guys, I'm gonna beat him on dual night, 100%. So, send me your love, guys. Send me your power, all right? The difference between power level, it's like, you're Joey Wheeler, wow. and I'm Seto Kaiba. Ah, uh, excuse me? Yes, sir? You made a mistake there. You're Krillin, Sum is Goku. Yeah! <laughs> Super Saiyan! Why does everybody want me to lose? Guys, I'm telling you guys, I'm not even Joey, I'm Yugi. All right. Soon. All right. Come Sam. on, good luck. Two. Two. Oh, oh. Not the greatest roll. Oh, and this and this, and the rules here is draw draw one or first. Yeah, pick. you got one or first. Four. You got first second. Come on, Sam. For, what's the favorite number? I'm going number one. All right. Good luck, Sue. Sam. The best duelist wins. Guys, you know what? Me. Now the duel starting. I'm gonna come in a little humble. All right. So may the best duel win. You know. Really. No, I could could draw bad, right? Really. All right. Let's go. Yep, it's over. It's, it's, it's literally over. All it's right, just, I'm it's first. Over. Yep. All right. Make sure you don't bleed your hand. You draw for turn. What deck are you playing, Sum? XYZ, Kaiden? Are you Chaz? <laughs> Jeez. That one. Um, that's it. Um, set one. I set one. Wow, I wonder what that is. Um, it's, you know, set two. Go. You draw for turn. Wow. I have no idea what deck Sam's playing, guys, but I think he has an idea of what deck I'm playing. Set one card face down and well. Okay. And I'll set four back room. Whoa. Uh, four. I end my turn. Yeah, your turn, eh? Yes, sir. Okay. I have one card left in my hand. Go. Draw. Flip your, flip your, uh, Man Eater Bug, Gravekeeper's Guard, give your Spy. What is it? Um, I'm gonna activate my home. Your home. Necro Valley! Ah! GK! <laughs> oh, now you know what I'm playing, do you? Ah, uh, GK. Okay. GK. Um. I don't like this. You okay with that? No response? Uh, no response to Necro Valley activation, but. Guard. Flip summon. Effect? <sighs> Guard. Guard? Guys, I told you. Guard, this is my best monster. Sam's not gonna have anybody touching the field. Guard, let's keep bringing it back to his hand. A Gravekeeper's Guard. Yep, and he gets a 500 boost from my Necro Valley. Sure, that's fine. Okay, all right, and um, I'm going to... Uh, so are you in battle phase now? I'm entering battle phase. Sure, and you enter battle phase, I'm gonna activate my trap card, Gravity Bind. Or Gravity Bind. This card binds you. Okay. You cannot move. Gravity Bind? Oh my god, guys, all my monsters are level fours. Huh. Soom is playing Gravekeepers, right? What level is all the Gravekeepers monsters? Sorry, Soom. Sorry. Um, that is a pretty good, that's, that's a pretty good card, Sam. Pretty good card, eh? I'll, I'll be honest, yeah. Thank and, you, sir. Um, you might have a chain MST. Oh! I'm gonna chain MST. Chain MST? Yes. Alright, then I'll chain my card called Ring Judgment of Anubis. Judgment of Anubis? What? Who plays that card? Judgment of Anubis? <laughs> Sue, your MST does absolutely nothing. On top of that, you're taking some burn damage, baby. Let's go. What does Judgment of Anubis do? This card says, when an opponent activates a spell or trap card that would destroy a spell or trap card on my field, I can discard one card from my hand. And? Okay, I'm gonna discard the Fiber Jar. The Fiber Jar? What's in my hand? Do? And no, it does nothing, it's just a discard. It's a cost of discard. Oh, okay. This card says, negate that activation of a card, and if I do, destroy one monster on your side of the field and you lose damage equal to that monster's attack. Damn, that's so. So, I just negated your MST, yep. and I'm also gonna destroy your guard. 
and you're gonna take on the field. So it, it's at it's actually at fifteen hundred. So since Necro Valley gives that monster a boost, you would take fifteen hundred because Judgment Hue says inflict damage to your opponent equal to destroyed monster attack on the field. Does this have any effect or anything? No. Are you sure. Like sending it to the graveyard. Necro Valley only stops decks that like send to the graveyard, not destroy. No, no like from the graveyard. Uh, uh, move, oh. like monster born premature burial. Oh, uh, move from you're, the graveyard. Not you're playing gravekeepers and you don't even know how to. Oh. The, the rules of Necro Valley. Oh, I thought Necro Valley was your home. It is my home, but you know, sometimes. Guess what? <laughs> now I'm sending you back home. That's fine then. Okay. Sure. So now you will take 1500 damage. Okay. And now my Gravity Vine will resolve. You're at 65 to my 8000. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. End? Your turn, sir. Bro! All right. Wow. You're negging, Sam. You have you, any monsters out there? Like, negging? A level four or higher? Negging? All right, go, Sam. I think I'm in a good position to win. Really? It's that one card mysteriously face down, and I end my turn soon. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yes. Am I trying to draw? Yes. That's a, mis that's a mystery card, yeah? That is a mystery card. Okay, you know what? I'll also set one card face down. Wow, very impressive. Yeah, I copy you, right? Yes, sir. Like. Copy my older brother. All right, yes. go. Your turn. Draw for turn. Wow. Guys, I think he's so, he's so smart, eh? Look at this guy. Soup. He's so happy with the gravity bond. So now, this is where my unlock my strategy. I'm, I'm gonna do something that Distant Quarter failed to do last week. Okay. I'm gonna activate Wave Motion Candy. What does that do? This card says, during your main phase, my main phase, you can send this face up card to the graveyard and inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent for each of your standby face that have passed since this card was activated. So so next turn. So next, so every of my standby face so will next, basically gain a counter, and it'll keep going and going until it reaches 6,500. You send it to the graveyard, you can lose 6,000 damage. Oh, yes, so sir. How, does, how do you keep it on the field? Nothing? Uh, During your main phase, you can send this face of card to the graveyard, inflict damage. What do you something that this can do? Pieces that have passed since this card was active. Okay, it's a okay. counter. So, okay. so, so now it's okay. zero. It's zero, yes. Okay, so if you want to, okay, cool. Yes, during your I'll, my I'll beat you in six turns. Sure, no problem. Yeah, you can try I to will. do that. I will. Uh, I will set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Okay. Yes, sir. I draw. That gravity binds a problem, guys. Yeah. I swear your deck has level threes, though. Oh, no, they're all level fours. So unfortunate. Too bad if I messenger a piece you, too. We use a reckless greed. I draw two. You're brave. You're risky soon. So you know it stops you from drawing for two turns. I know how to play. Oh. All right. Um, My bad. I'm gonna go change your heart. What are you targeting? This one. This card right here? Yes, sir. Give it to me. No, thinking. Okay. Cards in hand? Enough. Four. What do you got? Like, Solemn Judgment? Like, you get so trap? Good cards. Jeez. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what you're hiding under here. Chumley. Cards in your hand. Zero. Zero, eh? Zero. Okay. I'm gonna flip some in your card. What do you have? Damn, I like the combos. Okay. Yep. All right, that's fine. Then I'm gonna flip this loser. Yes. I'll no. Take damage. I'll take 400 damage. Yes. We try to my hand. And then, um, this is this is a problem. No, you can attack with Koala though. I, of course, of course. That is a problem. I'm assuming all your deck, all your cards are pretty weak, is that? Okay. I'm going to um, enter battle phase. Yep. And attack with Koala. Yes, I'll take 1100 damage. Yep, no problem. Then my normal summon, I'm gonna summon Tsukiyomi. Whoa! I like that combo. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll flip. I use effect. Do you have any response? Uh, to flip guard. Uh, 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 you're gonna target guard, right? I'm gonna target guard. Yes, I am. Uh, give me a second. Let me think. On the summit of Sukiyomi. Target guard. You cannot draw for two turns. Um, Sukiyomi. On the guard. One second. Let me think. Sukiyomi on the guard. Okay. You're normal summon. I'm actually gonna ring disruption the guard. What are you thinking about? Ooh, good play! Okay, so wow. Yeah. Ah, Ring of Destruction? Not today. Now Book of Moon comes in handy. Book of Moon to save himself a Ring of Destruction. I gotta give this to him. That play is pretty nice. Yeah, waste your trap cards. That's really smart. Thank you very much. Yep. Um, I'm gonna set two. And then end, end turn. It's back. Yep. All right, go. Go for turn. Yes, sir. Uh, this is one counter on wave motion. Come on, guys. I need one card. I and, need it. I end my turn. I need that one card. Draw! You can't draw. Reckless Greed. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Okay, 
go. Uh, P minor one. Uh, I two. Okay, sure. Just leave it. Yeah, you can leave, leave it. It's fine. it's fine. Oh, forgive me, forgive me, guys. Okay, I have one. Actually, no. Can I shuffle the deck? Sure. Okay. The deck. Oh, fair. Okay. Yeah, my bad, yeah. guys. That's my fault. You know. Yeah. I think forgive me, guys. Works. I generally forgot. I forgot. Um. Okay. Yep. So that's one turn. Can draw. Um. Okay. And then I'm going to flip. Yep. Return. Yep. Okay. Yep. Really good. Guys, this guard combo with Tsukiyomi, I love it. One of my best strategies, summon Tsukiyomi, flip down guard, and then of course, flip guard, and just keep floating silence monsters back. This is one of my best strategies, and you know what? I'm hoping it'll keep me in the game. Tsukiyomi flipping the guard, flipping it again to bounce back my cards. It's pretty cute. That's pretty neat. I'm not even gonna lie. But what are you gonna do with Gravity Bind? Just one turn. To draw. Just two. Dangerous. Super dangerous. I'm after. I'm going to use Rider Spirit and a turn. Sure. Summon back my guard from the graveyard. Sure. Attack in. Doesn't really matter. Sure. I'll do defense. Just guys. Yep. Second stand my face can draw. Yep. That is. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, wow, this guard loop is going to destroy me. I'm going to flip. How, 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 how are you? Oh, flipping? you can't flip face down, right? What is this? Oh, what for, kind of rules you learn forgive, forgive, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Okay, um, I'll flip guard. Yep. Same thing. Yep. And then I'll do the same thing. Let's yeah. see. And then, check. Draw for turn. Oh, was there a heavy storm in the draft? Yes. There, is. there was a heavy storm. Okay. Alright. Maybe I have it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, these two continuous traps are bothering me. Interesting. I believe. Gravity Bond is, oh my god, guys. I need to get rid of that card right now. I need a Dust Tornado, I need an MST. I need it right now. That's why I said do I have XYZs. <laughs> <laughs> this is this three now? Three. So you're at 65? Uh, huh? I can draw the next turn. Is it this turn? Yeah, it's yeah, this turn. Yeah, it's turn, yeah. turn, yeah. Uh, go, your turn. Guys, I need it. Get out! Get out of here! Oh my goodness! No way! No way! No way! No way! Get out of here! You do it? No way! No way! No way! No way, Jose! No way, Jose! No way! Oh boy! That's big. That's huge, guys. That's what she said. Okay. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, 1800 attack's pretty strong, Sam. 18 defense. 18 defense, oh, that's pretty good. Um, first move, mm -hmm. FST. Target which? Gravity Pine. <laughs> that's what I needed. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> he MST'd my Gravity Pine. No! Dual Knight wants me to win, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to flip. Oh my god. Right, he's just faking it. What are you doing? I'm going to. Oh, I must T. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. He's got another one. He's got another one. I must T. Okay, I'm going to flip. Oh, yeah. Uh, return. Wait. No, no, no. Return. Oh, I must T. Oh, I must T. Not MST. Okay, this guy. It's so annoying. <laughs> this guy's another one. This guy's another one. All right, I'm gonna summon. Giddy Warrior Lady. Yeah. This yeah. guy is so annoying. Yeah, Here's that's, another one. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, flip two. I'm gonna flip two attack mode. Yeah. Enter battle phase. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this what's going on, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, that sucks. That sucks, go. This guy, this, four counters. That card's gonna kill me. Oh my god, I got a bad move. Oh, damn it. Oh man, MST. 
Okay. Uh, so I'm just, uh, just right, gonna I'm down. Uh, give me a second. Let me think. I am gonna activate, of course, Mask of the Curse. Okay. So what this card does is equip only to the equip monster can attack. All right. And I'm gonna target your DD warrior. Lady. That's it. So it can attack once per turn during your standby phase, my standby phase. Inflict 500 damage to control of the equipped monster. Right. Oh wait. So is is this a four or a five now? Four, four. Are you sure? Four, four. It was just a three. Just a three. Oh, okay, okay. All right, cool. Uh, your turn. So DD warrior lady cannot attack. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna defense. Yep. Defense. Super running. Yep. Sure. Set one. Okay. Uh, draw. Damn, I should MST that card. There's wave motion. Five. Use 500. I was, I was in a hurry, guys. Oh my god. You're at, you're at 6,000. Yeah, one more turn, baby. Wait, why, why 500? Huh? Because you lose 500 every turn. Every oh, time you wow. get monsters on the field. So basically, in theory, you could have just flipped this face down and just let it go. But I lost next turn then. Uh, That's 6,000. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> How did you go on MST? I believe. Nope. Yep. I believe. Yep. Guys, this is it. I do have another MST in my deck. Nope. Yep. Good luck. You guys believe? I believe. So what's so six hit, counters? Well, so when it's my turn, it'll be six, and then I can set it to here. Six thousand. You're at six thousand right now. I know. Oh my goodness, man. Guy, why didn't I ever see that card? I could just ever see that, and then wait for another MST to kill Gravity Barn. But he has two Gravity Barn. That's oh, stupid. <laughs> he knew. Oh my God. All right, I set one. I'm gonna. Yep. Return that. Sure. And. Yeah, that's it. All right, so. I draw. So you lose 500. Yeah, 55. This gives us a six. And I'm sorry I have to do you this way. It's fine. Wave motion cannon! Cannon in his face! Send it to the green board! 6,000! <laughs> Good game, brother. Oh Good my game. god. No, regardless, like, I had order. I had Imperial order, anyways. Oh, what's order? So, you were like to try to get rid of my gravity button or anything, I can just Imperial order you. Yeah. I had Mr. Old Man set too. And that's a wrap. Zoom, nice try. Thank you so much for being on Duo Night. Now, please, Zoom, quietly go to the Patreon match and try your best to beat Steven there. Guys, I just lost a sound though, but it's not over for me. I'm gonna go to the Patreon now and face Steven in the losers match to get that third place title. And you know what guys, on Patreon, Sam's got a lot of content there, a lot of, you know, behind the scene footage, a lot of secret duels. You guys wanna see me beat Steven there or lose? It's gonna be there, so go check that out. Patreon, link is down below. Oh, I'm facing Milano. <laughs> I don't know how Steven lost to Milano right here. Like I always say, who's better? Milano <laughs> or Denzel. Regardless, I think I got this in the bag. <laughs> Milano! Sam, I, ca I can't believe I'm seeing you at this finals, bro. The way you selfishly took it from your, your brother, put him on a gravity bind, two gravity binds. This guy, evil. You're evil. Listen, every <laughs> single week, I'm gonna try to do something different, you know? I'm not like Steven. Steven is always the same, boring, 19 <laughs> beaters. You got the most dogs in all of Doom Knights. Hey, it's all two, dogs. It's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So we're equal. But you know, I'm trying to involve my strategy every single Wait, week. Wait, 2-2-2, is it is this implying that you're gonna lose to Milano? No, no, no. Well, I'm not trying to be cocky. It's, it's gonna be 2-2-2. Two, 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 two. remember, at, remember <laughs> at the end of the day, I always ask this question, who's worse? Milano? <laughs> Shut up! Or, Yo, or, say that. or say, what's, his, what's, his guy, what's the other guy's name? Denzel. Or Jesse Cobb, who's better, Milano or Jesse Milano Cobb? Milano or Denzel? I'm with Guys, the Guys, leave in the comments. I'm associated with the best Leave in the, the comments <laughs> who's better. <laughs> Denzel or Milano. All right, here we go, baby. High roll. Four. I want to go first, please. Two. Oh, I'm going first. All right, go. All right, duelist, good luck. Draw for Oh, turn. man. Oh, yes, thank you. All right, Milano, I'm gonna do something very, very simple. Uh, nothing too complicated here. I'm just gonna set one card face down, another card, and I'm gonna end my turn. All right, draw. Yes, sir. I'll use the effect of Thunder Dragon. Oh! Yeah, two Thunder Dragons from my deck to my hand. Are you gonna banish for Chaos Resort? No, I'm gonna tribute summon and then make Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 
<laughs> okay, nice. Rest in peace, Colossus. R.I.P. All right. Oh, I've been confiscation. Ooh. Pay one thousand. Let me let me take a look at your goods. Confiscation right off the bat, man, this is not good for me. Hand knowledge is the most important thing when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. But hey, the bright side is he's now at seven thousand life, which makes it easier for me to actually burn him for game. All right, guys, one thousand less life is better than none. Milano, confiscation is fine. I know which one. Oh wow, you have so many monsters. I know you're already gonna. I know which one you're already gonna pick. Uh, if you don't pick Spear Reaper. What, Fiber Dry? You can have it. Fiber Dry, you can have it, bro. You can have it. Seriously, you're, you you're, can... you're letting me keep Fiber Dry? Yes, yes, I am letting you keep Fiber Dry. You're letting me keep... Yes, I'm letting you keep right. Fiber Dry, man. Like, oh, no. Okay. Okay, it's quite simple, bro. It's quite simple. So, uh, set one. Play one more face down. Your move. Draw. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder what that set face down is. Anyways, Milano, I am going to do some normal summoning. I'm going to normal summon, right. of course, Reflect Cloud here. Who's man? <laughs> Uh, when this is being attacked by a monster, before damage, if this, uh, it's too hard. Uh, when this card attacks, if this face-up attack this new card is attacked by a monster on your opponent's side of the field, before damage calculation resolve, this card inflicts damage to equal to the attack of half the attacking monster, then, okay, it's only when I attack him. Okay. Then after the, okay, sure. Battle face. Um, let's see. Sure. Attack. Okay. Sure. I back my confiscation. Oh, that's why. That's why. Sure. Uh, I end my turn. Epic. Yep. Draw. If you use Convocation again, I would love for that to happen. So that way you can just burn your life points for me. Yeah, maybe no, I might. Maybe I might. There you go. Just trying to figure out my way to do this bestly. I just wonder what that is. It's my, my number one question over here. You know what? Go ahead. Draw a trip? Yep. Uh, I am going to normal summon my Mystic Tomat. Yes, your Tomat is fine. Miss Tomat, reflect, attack. I'll use the effect of Old Vindictive Magician. Hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna target your set. Sure. My turn. All right. I'm going to 14 to the I'll, face. I'll take that 14. Sure, you're at 56. It's my 8,000. Uh, Milano, your turn. Draw. How many cards in it? Six. Six cards in hand, that's a lot of cards. And then I'm stack them up. Six cards in hand, so you're up one. Sure. Pass. Uh, we'll actually trap the shoot. Sure. Trap the shoot? Here's my hand, I have all monsters. <sighs> I hate this card. What is this ugliness man's burn strategy? Uh, it will have to be. Uh, I will choose uh, Death Koala. Sure. So Imperial Order, Death Koala, and Suguri. And Fiber Jar. Yeah. Battle Face, attack. Uh, okay, I will activate right Geki Break. Pop Reflect Blounder. I'll take sure. the 14. Yep. Oh. You're at 42? Yep. Set one mysterious face down and set one card, and I end my turn. Draw. Finally. Okay, I'll normal summon Gyrat. Yes. Enter battle face. Uh, enter battle face. That's fine. I'll attack Mystic Tomato. Yep. And Chain Link uh, 1. Chain Link 2. Yep. yep. Tomato. Tomat. Let's see what he's going to summon, and that will react to that. That's how much of a skillful duelist I am. Zangan! Uh oh. Zangan, summon from my deck off Mr. Tomato. Game Eternal, that's fine. Then I'll attack your set monster. Uh, give me a second. So, after summons. Yes. So, I'm gonna activate, of course, Nightmare Wheel. This card says activate this card, target and attack a monster on your point side of the field. It cannot attack. On food. When I leave the field, destroy this card. During each of my standby phases, I take 500. Yep. All right. That is fine. And I will pass. Once we turn during your, my standby phase, your opponent just wants to receive that case effect. Okay, a draw. Mm -hmm. uh, you lose 500 off Nightmare Wheel. Yes. You're at 3,700. I will set one card face down, switch Sangan to defense position, and I will end my turn. 
draw. Milano, what's going on here, man? I don't know, bro. My, my strategy is fumbling right now. All right, I'll tribute my Pyramid Turtle. Yep. For Thunder Dragon. Yes, no problem. Enter the battle phase, I'll attack your set monster. Sarugi, you have no small trap card, so nothing happens. No damage. And I will set one face down, two face downs, and I will pass. Draw. It's time. Uh-oh. It uh -oh. is Uh-oh, here we go, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, sure. Milano, I end my turn. Draw. Do you have any way to out my wave motion, Milano? You have three turns and a half. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I will activate uh, Metamorphosis. Wow. Tributing my Thunder Dragon. That's a cost. Do you have a response? Would you like to uh, Imperial it. order me for one turn and then call it yeah. off? Yeah, I'm the Imperial order, actually. You know what? I'm not a big fan of that. I'm gonna... I'm, gonna Imperial, I'm, I'm Imperial order that, yeah. Regeki break your Imperial order. Regeki break on Imperial order. That means Metamorphosis will resolve. If he brings out the fusion monster on what I think it is, this might be trouble for me. Sure. Okay. So I will summon Dark Balter the Terrible. Wow, that card is, this, this card is nasty. Yes, if I attack your Sangan, its effect will not activate when I destroy it by battle. I gotta beat the clock right here. <laughs> wow. I will normal summon uh, okay. Giant Rat. Sure. Enter battle phase, I'll attack with Dark Balter. Yep. And I'll attack you for 14 directly. Oh, man. All right, I gotta do some quick maths right now, because you're gonna... So if I destroy a flip monster by battle, it its effect will not trigger. I think it will not trigger. Yes. Okay, I just gotta do some math right here. Okay, um... One, 27, it's gonna have one counter. I will activate Confiscation, paying a thousand and I'll rip your card out of your hand. Your, your fiber jar, you're back to the graveyard. You're at 27, Milano. So here's what we got right now. Sam has no cards in hand. I have my Dark Balter and a Giant Rat. I put him to no cards just so I can swing in two, for two turns and that's a wrap. I got this duel. I am gonna win this duel. I have Wave Motion Cannon, no cards in hand. This is looking terrible for me, guys. Oh my god, I need to top deck something now. All right, bro, go ahead. This is uh, this guy's last big time. Don't draw a desk koala or something. That would be really annoying. Uh, can I read this? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. A one counter. Yes, one, one counter. counter. Okay. Mono needs two more turns. Mono, I'm sorry, but. Uh... No, what? What is it, bro? Come on. Right? Well, I'm gonna put you on the clock right now, man. You have no choice. I'm gonna wave motion cannon you. All right. So you're at 1700. Yeah. Okay. So you're at 1700. I'm gonna normal summon effect bounder. Yeah. Cannot attack. Pass. Or else I will take damage equal to the you'll, attack. You'll take 2000 because of dark bolter. You're at 1700. Good luck trying to. Bro, you're stressing me out, man. What do I do? All right, draw. Right now, Milano is at 1700 life. Reflect Bounder just saved me. This card is literally a walking magic cylinder. Reflect Bounder, when I'm at exactly 1700. All right, well, we gotta find an out now. I'm putting you on the clock right now. So Reflect Bounder says, before damage calculation, if this card is being attacked, before damage calculation, this card negates any of the that it's being destroyed. So obviously this will happen before damage calculation. Oh, and I drew my exiled force. I could have outed it. That's what you get for drafting it over. Yo, me, but I, no. I need that card for my strategy. I want you to win, so Burn doesn't win, but I'm glad you can't use exiled force. Sam, oh, Sam, 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 how could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Wait, so that card. So literally I will attack, if I attack this, I it's a, magic, it's a magic cylinder. So you can't attack him. If he attacks him, he'll, 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 anything that he attacks me with, I will redirect the damage to him. But how are you gonna deal damage to him now? Because So I, I stall. Stalled Before now. damage calculation, oh. this person. Oh. So even if a giant rat attacks it, it will still inflict the damage. Yes, it will. Anything, anything, yes. Go ahead. Oh man, I can't believe it. Not like this, man. Not like this. Oh, it's over. No shot. Pass. <laughs> sure, my Act. turn. Yes, sir. Draw. Normal summon try. <laughs> oh. Prio. <laughs> what are you calling? 
Um, machine? Machine, yeah, yeah, call it, call it. I will call machine! <laughs> okay, alright. Are you in battle phase? Enter battle phase! You're so good! You're actually so talented! You're actually so talented! Mystic 9! In 2003! No! Oh my god! Heart of the cards is real, guys. Never give up and always believe in the heart of the cards. Do you see this? I'm literally this much off. Go ahead. Uh, this is a one counter? Yeah. So does it tribute itself as cost? During main phase, send this card into the graveyard. All right. You play MSD later? So uh, I saw, no. I saw Super Touch. So you already used two regular key breaks. Wow, that's really bad. Hey, man. Yeah, one, yeah, one more turn, one more turn. Yeah, one more turn. No, I just realized something. MST, exactly what I needed. Now time to bring this duel to a wrap. Oh! Man! Oh! Oh! Roll your game! Yeah, yeah, no. 3,000 points, oh, you're off. No, no yeah. I was off by 600, no, no matter what, I was no, off yeah. by 600. No, 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 matter, but I need no matter what he does, he hand. loses. I need that's why, this in that's hand why I kept this in hand. I need, that's, that's a, I need to keep this in hand and then Rageki break it, but then it's just stalling more, right? Like I have to pitch the MST we're like, we're like, and I have no more else after that. Yeah. Yes, I did it guys. I have three wins here on Duel Night. Right now, I am the reigning champion, back to back. I won last episode with Magical Scientist and now I won with Burn. I did something that Distant Quarter couldn't. Sorry, Kevin. Milano, I'm so sorry. Guys, Milano's so salty right now. He actually, um, he... <laughs> It is what it is, and I'm sorry for those of you who hate Burn, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to go up with a new strategy every single time, and I thought Burn was a perfect strategy. Like I said, I'm doing something that Kevin couldn't, okay? That was the most epic duel I've ever played in my life. Congratulations to Sam. I hope you all love Duel Night. I had a blast on it despite uh, being a bum and losing, but we are going right now to Patreon. I'm excited to actually finish filming because Patreon, man, I hate to say this, but it is true. Patreon shows like 80% of Duel Night and YouTube shows like the other 20% of so much behind the scenes. We all duel each other like four times each. Obviously, I clap everyone all the time despite never being on it. But Soom, you are done for. You're my boy, but I have to defeat you. After that, Milano and Sam, you're both catching it too. I'm going to 3-0 you both in a best of one. And then after that, you can also see our deck profiles and deck lists to explain the reasoning behind playing weird cards like Goblin Attack Force, which by the way is a... Uh, Pretty ass! You failed me again! Maybe next time I'll play a different strategy, but you guys can figure that out on Patreon. All right, guys, so that's it for me today. I had a great time today, Duel Night number nine. Had a great time with Milano, Steven, and Sam. These guys are awesome. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the Duel Night. Guys, I'll be back. And you know what? I'm gonna do some research, get more, be more prepared for this set. I'll be honest, in today's set, I wasn't as prepared as I should be, but you know what? I'll, I'll be ready for the next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video today, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Well, that wraps it up for today on Duel Night. Had a great time as always. And all right. Peace. Again, shout outs to all my supporters that believed in me. Guys, I'm telling you right now, once I'm locked in, you guys know when I play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Once I'm locked in, I'm tapped in, I'm locked in. Literally, rating threes all day, baby. Steph Curry. Literally, I'm unstoppable. All right, guys, next episode is going to be Invasion of Chaos. And that set is literally going to cause chaos. And literally, guys, getting a spin from the stable wheel is a huge bonus. Because if I get monsters on the next wheel spin in Invasion of Chaos, I'm picking chaos. Chaos Emperor Dragon, and you guys better be ready for that episode because that episode is gonna be super duper epic. Guys, just a quick reminder, Do Night is every first and third week of every month. All right, guys, two episodes a month, bi-monthly series. Make sure you guys check out the Patreon in the link down below. That is patreon.com slash x one Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for supporting the show. This show has been a huge success. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace.